Something fishy is going on at Exploration Place. The museum is almost finished installing a brand new custom-built aquarium, and it will let you experience life inside a fishbowl. Underneath is a, is a pop-up dome. It doesn't look like it yet, but this dome will soon be the centerpiece of the newest attraction at Exploration Place. A sturgeon aquarium. And the problem with aquariums, in my view, is always that you stand and you look at them, which is very typical museum. In this instance, being able to crawl underneath it and stand up inside it and literally immerse yourself in the river environment, I think, is what's going to really get kids' imaginations going, get people interested in what's actually happening, and hopefully raise the profile of this particular species. The tank's oval shape, along with its interior dome, will allow people to see much more of the endangered local fish. If you walk around, what, one of the things we've done is we've made this tank viewable from about three quarters of the, of the surface. So it actually is a round bullnose tank. You can see the curvature of the acrylic here. The sturgeon will be moving from their old tank to a brand new one in the coming days. It's going to feel a lot more like home. The tank itself obviously will uh, hold the fish in, a, in an elegant manner. Um, and then we'll have essentially a little slice of a riverbank. The idea was six months in the making, but just getting it to the museum was a lot like swimming upstream. Well, getting it up here was a bit of a, a chore. It took it, uh, well, we've been waiting on it for almost two weeks, so it came in late just with the, the distance it had to come, coming from Southern California, and it had to truck up and clear customs, then it had to come up through the province. The guy driving it up hit a moose en route. Fitting it in the building required the expiration place to shut down for two weeks. Then multiple measurements were taken for the tight squeeze. I like to think of it as uh, sort of um, if you got a wedding dress made, they want to measure you and they want to make sure you don't grow or <laughs> you're going to fit the dress. Because you can imagine uh, the, the tank itself on the stand is larger than a, than a van. Uh, it's about 4,000 pounds and we have a quarter inch on each side to squeak this thing through. Room for the tank also had to be made in the museum's budget. Well, I haven't got all the bills in yet, but I've got $100,000 sitting in my budget to finish paying the, the bills on it. So it's, uh, it's something that the museum's been working towards for a number of years. KPMG and BC Hydro stepped up and helped us pay the bill on it, so we're, we're pretty pleased. The install is expected to be complete by the end of the week. The Sturgeon Aquarium will be open to the public by November 23rd. Kelly Linehan, CKPG News.